welcome back to the Own Your Power Lifestyle Show. I'm Coach Simone Kelly in the living room with Herman Dubois. And today's topic is So You Want to Be a Singer. Make some noise, studio. Yeah. yeah. And we have, welcome back, George Tandy Jr. Yeah. We're so happy to have you back. I'm happy to be here. I'm glad that, um, you know, you haven't changed a bit, I just got to tell you. With all the fame and fortune. <laughs> I mean, not I mean, top end. You know, like your people talk to my people. Right, right, right. He's, right. he's still the same guy. So that's actually that was that's one of the main that's reasons why I wanted to, you know, have him on because he can share a little bit. Because some people, you know, they get a little bit of fame and they don't know how to act. They, or or they, just that he's gonna be honest about the fact that you know what some of the answers are to the questions that sometimes the truth hurts. Right. Yeah. But you know, at the same time, you still have to, you have to probably separate yourself from certain people now. I'm sure. I like, specifically asked for blue M and M's. Your managers need to work on oh, it. Okay. They're, they're not up. So let's, let's ask the first question because I mean, you you come from a, a musical family, correct? I do. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, my whole family is musically inclined for the most part. My father's a jazz musician, and my mom is a vocal coach. My sister's a everything artist. My brother. Everybody does something. Right, right, right. Uh, so it's really interesting how far you, you and you can you all can dance. Everybody can yeah. do their thing. I saw you guys dance before. Right, yeah. yeah. So when you come in the house, you'll be entertained. <laughs> you'll, you'll be so, entertained. so from somebody that's not as blessed as you to have a, a musical <laughs> background or family, you know, members, how do they make the transition? What would be like the first few things that they can do from making a transition from singing in the shower or for their friends um, to actually performing? Like I know that's a a loaded question, but you know, just yeah, yeah. The, that's the a early, big jump. I mean, you I know. Be, okay, okay. Start the church, What's the first step? Choir, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it could be ch well, church or it could be open mic. But you know, tell me what are some things that you've seen in your circle of friends? What are some of the, the first steps that they do to, to get their name out there? Well, I mean, I can tell you what I did. Um, I think first, deciding it'd be good to decide why you want to do it. You know, to make sure that you, your your purpose is kind of in the right place. Right. A little bit, so that the expectations don't exceed your the will that you have to work because you're walking into something that requires a lot of self discipline. Um, but I mean, just jump, go to an open mic, sing your favorite song. Uh, make sure you ask for feedback from people that aren't so close to you, so right. you can get some constructive exactly. criticism. Exactly. And don't stop if you're gonna do it. You need to continue to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, the constructive criticism, I think, is one of the hardest things people, it's hard for them to take, you know, so right. just learning, I guess, learning how to be able to receive that, right? And, and in that transition phase, I mean, uh, you talk about getting constructive feedback. Mm -hmm. I hear stories from folks who go to vocal coaches and, and yeah. they sort of are trying to find their voice of because course. they don't want to sound like someone else. At, at what point does do you encourage one to really start thinking about, okay, I really have to, you know, master my craft before, you know, is, is that... Do you make the decision of I want to be a singer and then I need to, or is that something that just kind of happens organically? I think yeah. everybody's journey is a little bit different. You know, you might be, uh, already, you might already have a certain skill set that you were born with, maybe from your DNA, maybe mm -hmm. you just picked it up. You were able to mimic the radio so long or whatever you listen to so long that you, you have a nice tone, you already have it. Um, maybe you just need a little bit of help. I, I, I feel like we're always learning, so I think that the most, the, the most valuable approach would, would be to see it that way, to always try to learn in whatever way you can, mm -hmm. you know, to always reach beyond your own limits. So if getting a vocal coach is that, if, you know, learning other people's songs is that, do it um, as long as you find a way to keep your own voice intact, you know. Um, for me, it's been a mix of things. I I was a, you know, I wouldn't sing in front of anybody growing up. I didn't really? sing in choir. I didn't sing. I in, thought you were like I didn't sing in, everybody. You know, at church or in choir or nothing like that. Nothing. I was hiding behind instruments. Like I started playing clarinet and all the stuff in the band. The whole time I wanted to sing, but I, I was afraid. So, um, like for instance, one time, I wanted to sing real bad, but I didn't want to make, make like eye contact with me. So I asked my whole family to go to the other. <laughs> side of the house mm -hmm. so I could sing some version of Amazing Grace or something Aww. like that and I don't know really how, right. how good it was so but, you're um, a stage fright huh yeah yeah so it took a while so I really you really just have to take that first leap and then be honest with yourself you know like I'm still taking piano lessons you know what I mean I'm never gonna stop learning I don't think 
Oh, piano lessons. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Well, no, good. It was great. How the piano lessons good. What happened? That's great. That's, okay. I, no, I, I started. Oh, I started, yeah, but I stopped. She won't play it? And so... She, I thought, it was, I thought it was incredible for her to decide that she wanted to perform on the show one day. I was like, well, it's your show. Knock yourself out. Okay. She did I got stage thing. fright. She did her thing, but she has never been back. So I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Nah, to the, do the, the instructor was here. You gotta do it again. They had about 18 takes. It was great. You got to do but it But then she didn't come back. So I don't know what happened. I haven't that. even heard about the instructor anymore. What happened? You fired her? No, no, I just been on a mini break. I got to get back. Tune in to Own Your Power Radio at ownyourpowerlifestyle.com for grown, sexy, and eclectic grooves to put you in a good mood.